This video, I'm going to show you a simple route combination. It's going to open up everything for your offense. This route combo is going to be man, zone, everything that they can do defensively by creating a simple high-low. This comes to us out of the bunch halfback strong formation in the Oklahoma State offensive playbook. And the play we're going to be looking at today is going to be the play Seattle. Not to be confused with the play Durham. Seattle is much better. Now, I got a really cool little, we're going to open the video up with a bang here. Uh, if they go cover two, let's say they go like cover two and they go cover two hard flat, right? I want to show you something really cool. So uh, we run this with our bunch to the wide side of the field. If they run cover two hard flat, you're going to see that this little fade is going to be, with well, a just pass lead left, it's going to absolutely be a torch and it can, it can, it can be a one play score. Now, the really cool part is a lot of people will run some version of cover two. And if they were to play zone drops over there that cover two would not reroute that that guy um, but as you see right here this cover two you see how he kind of gets that speed burst off the line that happens a ton when they press it has a little bit to do uh, with what shell they're in a lot of people like to be in you know different shells if they whatever their base cover shell is sometimes so what we're looking at here first and foremost when we read this play we're looking at this fade and what we're asking ourselves is does he win off the line of scrimmage the way you get the way he wins off the line of scrimmage is basically does he get pressed if he does not get pressed this is a big hitter against cover two so you see here look again and you see he doesn't get that press even though that cloud climbs a lot more with him it's never going to guard that right so what are they going to have to do to stop this? What are they going to have to do to stop that route combo or that route specifically? Because another thing that they cannot do, they cannot do, um, even if they have a safety in like a third, they cannot um, put this safety or th they cannot play man coverage. So like if they play man coverage, then it's a little bit of a different throw as Quinn Ewers literally just died because, because Trey Moore is him. Um, Okay, so even if it's a little bit more of a difficult throw here, I want to show you something interesting. So, like I said, even though this is going to be a little bit more of a difficult throw, what you're going to notice is he's going to get pressed, but then he's going to like basically win. He's going to get over the top of him. Here he doesn't. If he doesn't, just throw this route. This route's coming right underneath it. It's wide open. Then just throw it. But a lot of times he'll get instant wins off the line of scrimmage is all I'm trying to say here. So sometimes with college football, just the way man coverage plays this year, it's a little bit inconsistent. Um, but when he wins, he wins, and it's a touchdown. And, and a lot of people, like right, right, right there, of course, he wins, and Trey Moore screams at me again. A, a lot of um, – it's, cra it's crazy how good Trey Moore is in this game. Um, anywho, a lot of times this – if they run, if they run cover, cover one – a lot of times this is going to be a touchdown. He'll get over the top of it pretty well. And if he doesn't, then we're just looking to this crossing route. Now, once you kind of read that streak, one of the other things that you can do, and it's a little bit dependent on how your opponent's playing, but a lot of people like these curl flat zones. These curl flat zones cannot defend this wheel route to the right. So what you can do here, you look out there, oh, they're not defending it, we'll just throw it quick. You can actually throw that route against a lot of stuff this year. So like if I was to do, let's say I did like a hard flat over there, if I do a hard flat over there, I want, you to, I want to show you the difference. See how he kind of plays it? Like he's out there. You can kind of see him kind of jump to the ball. That's also something you kind of want to at least look at. And it, it really is more of a tendency read. Like it's super hard to go across the field like that. But in general, if they have a hard so – like if I look here, hard flat, okay. And then look at my guy. See how, see how he wins off the line? And eh, kind of not that great if it's a quarter. But the thing is – so my main reads early in this play is I'm looking streak. I'm looking that quick flat, one of the two here. So boom, neither is open. Okay, then we're going to read our three-man route combo between our running back and our um, our running back and our – so I'm drawing a blank – our tight end. Running back, tight end, crosser. So the way we want to read this running back, tight end, crosser, we want to force our opponent to have to hard flat. If they don't hard flat – then you will throw this wheel 100 out of 100 times. It's a super quick throw. It's way better than it was last year. They don't they, – they, 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 it's just way more open. Like, it's just way more open than it was last year. So, again, how do they stop that? They have to shade underneath. So, because they have to shade underneath, then your tight end is probably going to get guarded. But your crosser, as you see right there, is going to get open. So, you got your crosser. So, what is the user going to do? The user is going to run – and go take the crosser. And so when he goes with the crosser, that's when you can throw this, and you see this becomes wide open. Now, let's say they're not playing hard flat coverage on the left side here. If they're not playing hard flat coverage on that tight end side, you can just throw this real quick, get upfield, get you 
7, 10, 15 yards. Super quick plays. Uh, another thing I wanted to say real quick, I did want to show you this coverage because we didn't talk about it yet. Cover 3 Cloud. A lot of people like Cover 3 Cloud to stop one of the things I was doing. Um, this is actually really cool. What about show you with this? I saw, I found this last night playing in a tournament. Uh, made actually a really good deep run in the tournament too. But let's say they're playing this Cover 3 Cloud coverage, right? Uh, this does not, this does not cover this fade, as you see. It does not. <laughs> it does not cover that fade. It did right there, actually. Um, I don't know why it did. It might cover it in practice mode. It did not cover it in game. Um, but basically, you'll see, basically just freeform left. Boom. Now, it's a little bit different because I'm cloud flatting, so the window's a little bit tighter. If I was to hard flat out of this, so it was a hard flat here, and what you'll see, that actually plays it better than I... Okay, it plays it. Never mind. We'll leave it alone. We'll leave it alone. I have to have that a little bit more. I thought that that fade did not get played by the third. Um, it might be more of an in-game thing. I'm not sure. But anyways, that's, I mean, it is what it is. It's okay if that plays that. It's just, it wasn't playing it the other day. Uh, let's get back in Seattle. Uh, so the fade in Seattle is the same fade in drive. So, you know, you have a, you have the threat of that and it's, it's super, it's super good. Uh, the other thing is cover three. So, Press cover three, uh, a lot of times this gets over the top of press cover three, as you saw it did right there. Now, obviously, you want to have a fast receiver. You really want your fastest receiver there, in my opinion. But what happens on cover three, if you watch that, that third on the left side, you'll kind of see he'll take a step to the inside, and we can just throw this up and over the shoulder, and this becomes wide open over the top. So you have this as well. So the only ways they can really stop the thing on the left is if they run a cover three cloud, apparently, um, or if they run a quarter. OK, uh, and then if they quarter, that's going to that's going to leave a lot of stuff open. We're going to be able to bomb the quarter with other plays in the scheme. Uh, we're going to be able to do a lot of other stuff. But anyways, this is one of my favorite plays. Oh, also, I didn't even talk about man coverage. Uh, this play is really good against man. So what makes this play really good against man is the fact that you have a, a bunch of crossing routes, basically. And of course, I say that it is like for some reason didn't beat man, except the running back and Quinn Ewers just made like the best throw I've ever seen him make in this game. But. You can beat man coverage. A lot of these routes, a lot of these routes beat man. The tight end drag, uh, you'll see right here, he gets separation. That's normally the read against man, to be honest. It's just a simple uh, crossing route. Uh, this R1 route, it oftentimes does beat man. Uh, here it doesn't. The running back route, uh, you would be surprised how hard it is to click on and user uh, defend that. And then this crossing route, a lot of times he does beat man. I don't know why he's not here. That's crazy. Dude, Trey Moore is insane in this game. Let's, uh, let, let, let's show you a different – we'll show you this against it. So, basically, you'll see here, the only reason why this wouldn't be man is if he, he just doesn't have a good beat the press rating, right? Uh, but, but normally that route will beat man. There's a lot of other things we can do to beat man, too. But in general, this is really simple, and, and, and like I said, I love this play. It's, 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 just, a, it's just a good play, attacks the middle field, attacks the left sideline. And then the underrated thing about this play this year, uh, the deep halves in this game, I was, deep halves in this game are interesting. They're not necessarily bad. Um, a lot of people would say they're just bad. They're not necessarily bad. What they are is they really go to the middle of the field a lot more. It's why I can throw that fade right over here i can throw this fade as well as you see and we can get over the top of cover two that way so a lot of a lot of ways to utilize these routes but this is in my opinion uh one of the best plays in the game okay you got a nice high low middle of the field attacks and you have a lot of stuff that can be man thanks for watching the video to get my entire ebook on this offense oklahoma state ebook um you get everything by being a school member we have already already dropped over 50 videos for college football 25 in that site and we've dropped a ton of ebooks. I think we have three ebooks, uh, but we have like eight uh, mini schemes. And we're dropping more ebooks literally as we speak. We're dropping, uh, my goal is to drop one a day for the next couple weeks because I gotta, I, I, I've learned kind of the majority of what you need to know uh, just in terms of how I wanna play offense, how I wanna play defense. And I wanna give you guys a couple of ways to play. If you don't wanna run bunch, I wanna give you a, a little option scheme. I wanna give you all that stuff. So, cool part about being a school member is you get everything. All ebooks, everything for just $10 for both Madden and for college football. Link is in the description below.